Here's Steve. Doing one wheel at a time. He's got new shocks because his truck bounces uh, when he tows. So this should take care of it. That shouldn't be too bad. How do you get to the top? Just past the engine? Oh, I see it. Pain in the butt. What are the sizes? Yeah, 19's a little loose, probably an 18. Do you think they're metric? Yeah, they should be. Easiest one to get to. Oh. I need a... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all you gotta do is remove all this HVAC stuff. Yeah, you can round all your corners off for you. Hey, you know what? what? Why don't you just cut it? Like if you cut the shock down here where the rubber bushing is, pull the and pull it pull it off the top, and then the new one should be pretty easy to thread on. That might be the solution. And then you can just tighten it with this guy and it'll rust itself shut in about a month. And it won't back out. Right there. Yeah, there's yeah. right there. Yeah, just drag the saws all in there. And... This might just be easier to take the tire off. Oh, you gonna give up so soon. Uh, oh, on the bottom? Yeah. Bigger. Big leader. Bigger than 18. Like I, I think that's also 18. Oh, nice. I mean, that's on there pretty stinking good. And worst case scenario, it rounds it off when we go the cut route. Right. Why don't you just hold the top one and then rotate the 19? Well, because. And I think I'm, I mean, it's it's pretty fucking stiff, right? Well, here. I'll hold the top one. It's not. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> PVC, dude. Well, I mean, it might have done something, but. We got that ratcheting 15 somewhere. Oh, hell yeah. A little soft, right? Yeah. Now that's broken loose. I don't know which way it's going to. Nice. Quickest way, right? Yeah. Snap the, <laughs> snap the yeah. bolt right off. Just hammer on it until it uh until it comes apart. Yeah. Perfect. And then so 15 on the top. Yep. The nut on the top of the shock is an 18, and you got 18 on the bottom. Yep. Is there a there's a head on the other side of that uh, in the frame? I think it might be welded. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a stud. Okay. Good thing that one didn't snap. I want the top to snap and the bottom not to snap. Alright, now pry bar. Pry that top up. You just drive it around a block, it'll come out. It's the just in case. Right. Once you get the bottom. Yeah. But I think I gotta get the top out because then I gotta walk the whole thing. Oh right, because you can't angle it enough. Right.
bushing stuck on there? Is that how it is? That's just how the stud is. The bushing's stuck, yeah. There's new bushings. So you gotta, you're gonna try to pull that off that stud? Or you see them, I'd wire it off and just jam it on there. So. On the bottom. I wanna get that old bushing out. But... Well, yeah, this one though I'm talking about. Is this how the, the stud is? Or is there a sleeve? Oh, no. That... Yeah, no, that's how the stud is. There's no... Oh, okay, there's no sleeve on the yeah. bottom? No. Cool. That makes it better. Yep. Still need to find a wire brush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get it. Clean your stuff, kids. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I just in a bunch of them. You'd think a fellow would wash his truck before he uh, had to do some work underneath it, but... This is washed. <laughs> It's in the uh, top right of my toolbox. I bought a tube of this stuff when Austin suggested it like a decade ago. And I've still only used about half. It just lasts forever. Right. Oh, you put the lube on the shaft and not in the hole? Shh, both. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't have these problems. Oh, these are gas charged. Yeah. So it's going to spring back up when you're trying to put it all together. It is, but it comes up pretty slow. So we'll see if I can actually get it in there. Put the jack on the bottom of it. Yeah. Or I could just wrap a little mechanics wire around it. Let's see why it wouldn't work. It's not like there's a spring on there. No. This is what we would see at work, and then so we would leave it as a permanent. Uncomfortably close to your dick. Oop. Yeah, don't point that at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get that shit through? Actually, yeah. Steve, it might work. Because it is kind of pulling it up and then just cut it and pull it. Yeah. Try Let's it. See. If it doesn't work, then we know. If it doesn't work, then you add no, that Don't out. step on the open sill glide. <laughs> Spooch all over the driveway. How's it doing? Is it going? I gotta compress it a little more. All right, because you're gonna break the top off. I mean, it's a. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to push it all the way back because I need to be able to yank it out, but... Right. No, that'll work. Get the tops lined up. Point. Yeah, rotate it so the logo's out. No! Ah! <laughs> Just go pull. Oh, it's... Attached on the back side still or not? No, it's not, but it's just it's super tight in there. That ain't coming out. No, take the jack and push up on the bottom so you relieve oh. pressure on the top. Oh, it's right on the edge. It's like, you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> Pulling a piece of rope out of Doug's butthole and eat, <laughs> eat stuff that I'm supposed to. <laughs> I've only had to do that once. Moving Old bolt 18, new bolt 19. No, old bolt was 15. Or not 15. Yeah. Oh, the top one's a 19 oh, 15, now. 15, yeah. Now it's a 19. Oh boy. Because these are heavy duty. You know? And that's a pinch nut, isn't it? Yeah. 
So it's going to take you forever to put it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think the odds are they made. Oh, oh yeah, they made the the top of the shock in 19 too. So now you need two 19s. Hmm. That's a big wrench coming after you. Yes. Trying to get your money. More yeah. Let's see. What does she look like? Oh. Uh, I usually squish them a little more than that. What's the top look like though? Can you feel it? It doesn't feel too bulged out. Yeah, I could bulge them a little more than that. Let's have squish confirmation. You farted right here though. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Because there's a little bit of curve and it's like a, looks like it's a cunt hair past the edge of the washer. That's how I've always done them. And then you had to reuse the bottom nut. Yeah. Uh, looks good to me. Done. That's how to do a front. Same size? Yeah. Oh, you got a head on the other side though. It does. Also it's, a yeah. Same is thing. that 18 I think? 18, yeah. What's the top? <sighs> Looks also to be an 18. Yeah, the top's in good shape. That one's not even rusty. Yes. These are nice looking brake lines, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Nickel, right? Yeah. Copper nickel. Yeah, that's what I got for the jetter. Get a get a shot up that uh, driver's side frame rail there. Look at that routing and look at uh, what I used to secure it to the frame. <laughs> What'd you use? Uh, cable, like a uh, coax. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, that was oh yeah. See all those little plastic clips? Those are, uh, I ripped a bunch of coax off the outside of my house. Yeah. And uh, repurposed Re them. Reuse and recycle, yeah. Exactly. That's how you get all the modern girls. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> you got uh is it you got new bushings, right? You can put some heat into it. Yeah. Hmm. Boy, it's like uh huh. you know what I almost wonder is it looks like somebody tried to jack it up. And they crushed it. And they, yeah, and like the edge of the bolt is kind of like rounded off over the thread right there. Hmm. There's something weird going on there. But either way, I think, and yeah, maybe I'll try it because this doesn't have a whole lot of balls. I'll try to break it with a with a breaker bar first and see if it's going to work. No, it might be going to start it by a bolt. It might be. <laughs> PVC extendo rod. Now you see, I like the PVC. Because when it snaps, it's sharp. It, yeah, when yeah. it snaps, it usually breaks into a few couple pieces. <laughs> Ma uh, more mains. Ends up in yeah. your eyeballs, and you cut your hand, and all that kind of stuff. Man, damn it all! Right, so I don't have that problem either. I don't have to double lube. Usually it fits. Let's see, which way am I going? I'm going pulling like that. Ow. Yeah, that's to a snap. That wrench is just really sharp. That bolt is just buggered. Maybe I'll try the pneumatic impact on this. For, you know, have some more make balls. new threads. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully instead of snap. You know what I never did was replace my deteriorated uh, axle vent line. Hmm. It's just an open port right there. Which air pressure I got yet. Nice 
nice new threads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was new. Look, it broke that fucking built-in washer. This is a little warm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe you should get a new one of those. Well, I mean, it bolts to the metal on either side. It's not like it's a... Uh, could just put a normal washer. Could just put a normal washer under it. Yeah, because it's torqued to medium, right? Yeah. Metric medium? Mm -hmm. SE. No, this would be uh, by 2004. It's so metric medium torque. Yeah. Oops. What we got going on here? You on the hose? Uh, front tire. Nice out of hose. You meant to be out. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Just enough. It's on my butt cheek. What am I doing? That's a 19. I'm a 19. I use chrome sockets on an impact. Yeah, kids. Unless you gotta get up to get an impact socket. <laughs> so this is stud. Yep. Oh, Steve, the threads. I know. Put that nasty nut on it and bang you know on what? the nut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bang on this side a little bit and make sure it's clear of the bushing. <laughs> wow. About that. Yeah. I don't even have an 18 uh, index socket anyhow, so. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> of course, I just turned the camera off. It comes flying out of there. <laughs> Dude, oh well, maybe the other side will be just as exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Claw hammer. Watch out. It doesn't swing and hit you in the oh, yeah. gourd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're good at that. You're real good at this. <laughs> <laughs> My pry bar's all the way over there. Hold on. Oh, I have to go get it. What if I think really Damn hard? Do you think I can slide it over here? <laughs> well, the shocks are back on. Uh, took it to the store to do a little test ride, and it feels way better than before. The true test will be when he has a trailer on it. You know, see if um, if the front pogos are not 